Hi everyone, in previous video we have talked about the data type of JavaScript, we have explained the introduction, the basics. So from today we are going to explain that and we are going to do the practical for the primitive data type. And you know that the primitive data type is totally about to this the four five types of it. This is number, string, boolean, undefined and node. So we are going to do the practical about this, all of these four types of primitive data type. So let's start this video. Here you can see I have opened my VS Code student. There you can see I have created a HTML file that is primitive data type .html. Another one is a JavaScript file that is primitive .js. And this file is include our JS folder. You can see that JS folder JS slash primitive .js. So we are going to first of all explain that the number. So we are going to checking for the number of data type. So let's do it. So here I'm just going to make it. So it is basically primitive data type. We can do using that let variable keyword. So here I'm just going to be using that let variable let is is equal to I'm just going to make it this 22 and then save it. So this is basically you can see it is a number. So we have made it a number. So here we're going to be checking it. So for this we are going to first of all make it a console. So console dot log and then the parenthesis and inside of this we have to add this the value the keyword of this variable that we have stored a value inside of this is so you have to put it okay maybe i have take the two lines of copies so let me remove it and just we can enter here simply is so this is and now just need to end of this line now save this file using control s and we have to write this this primitive we have to write taking that connecting that reference one number html file so here i'm just going to connecting it that is script src and it is we have moved this in our js folder it is js slash primitive dot js so this folder i have connected and now just need to save this file and back to our browser so this is we have opened our browser here now we are going to checking it using that inspection mode and we have to go on our console area there you can see the console area and there you can see it was the 22 it was successfully showed that that we have print actually using that console.log there is the as you can see our javascript file so this is basically console log we have print that so this is basically number we have provided but we are not sure still that the data type is number or not so we are going to checking it so let's type here the type of and this the variable name so it is as and press enter so you can see the data type is looking here this is for the number so you provide that and this is a number so this is completely that the number so now we are going to making that another one that is for the string so here let name is equal to i'm just going to make it my name okay it is a single quotation you can also even use the double quotation but i'm using the single quotation it is here i'm just going to my name so this is my name and I have written it now end of this line. So now we are going to using the, the console log. So console dot log and then parenthesis here we just need to write in here the name. Okay now just end of this line. Now we have to end this line and just save this file now back to the browser and reload it now open the console there you can see the name is already displayed here so now we're going to check in for the name the types so it's the same way so you have to writing that type of name and then press enter so just need to end and press enter so you can see this is a string so this means a string basically like it is the consider as a text so it's as a text and you can see that it is a string so now we're going to writing some other things that which is confusing for you so here i'm just going to make it this one the same line so this and including here i'm just using here a quotation over this number so here i'm just going to using same and then the console log the is it is already have we have this one here now save this file and just back to our studio of code now okay there is that we have made the same things over this that one the console you have inputted the two value so let me make it some another thing of this variable name here so let's hey so here i'm just going to my 
name shortcut that is AV and we just need to make it a console and here I just need to write that AV now save this file and back to the browser and reload it now here you can see this is basically here this is the last one there is one of the eight lines of or JS you can find here so there is line of eight and we have get this a line of eight days 22 so we're going to find the data type for this we have provided also even their number so let's check it that it is what is shown there so let a v and paste it you can see that this is still number but it was still showing that is thing so why did it say the reason is there we can see there is i have added a quotation mark so inside of this question whatever you like it will be like considered as a string this means it will be considered as a text then we are going to explain now we are going to make the practical for this boolean so boolean basically true or false it will be the logical situation for the two value that is boolean for the true and false so here i'm just going to make it a let option and is equal to i'm writing a true now end of this line now here are the console and now enter of this so here we have this option now copy that option from here and put it here now in this now save this file and back to the browser and reload it now you can see there you can see the two is mentioned there so now we are going to typing checking the types of it the type of option and then press enter there you can see it is boolean so the true or false if we change the value for this instead of 2 we put right here the false so letting this false and save it and back to here you can see the false is showing here now checking the types of types of option and it is still boolean you can see there no value whereas if you don't provide any value then it will be the by default it will be the null type so this is basically of the primitive data type as completed i have shared with you that this is the number and this is things and there is the true false for the boolean and for this unidentified and the null data type so this is the total of this five types of data types so if you have any question about it and if you are doing any practical if you're having any issue you can give me comment section below and if you have any issue you can give me comment section below so you will get my contact about there also my mail contact if you are not hesitating to getting me on the comment section then you can give me the message on my mail directly you'll find that so i hope you understand every process and if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us